Hey, what's going on you guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm just going to bring you a general energy update real quick, alright? So I can get back into these personal readings. I'm multitasking y'all, okay? And the general readings definitely um, for the collective help to whew, bring that energy back up, okay? So y'all, don't forget, flip the rolls, take only what you need, leave what you don't need, and use the spirit of discernment, okay? These videos are intended to help enlighten you and also to bring you some type of clarity about your situation. Situation. If you're feeling triggered by anything that I'm speaking of in this video, I do encourage you to face your mirror. My goal is to help you to evolve. This is about your evolution, honey. It is about 5.15 p.m. here in Baltimore, Maryland. Make sure you pay attention to the number synchronicities as well because they are very important. Your angelic team is guiding you. Okay, so let's see what's going on for the energy overall for today. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angelic guys, for helping me with this collective reading. Thank you for speaking through me loud and clearly, for closing the portals to anything that's not in alignment with the divine's will. Thank you for sh using me as the messenger, speaking through me loud and clearly, and so it is. All right, so what's the energy for my collective today? And don't forget, if this isn't your energy, it's someone connected to you. I don't know if you're masculine or feminine. I'm just going to speak it how I see it, okay? And you put it where it fits. And otherwise, don't force it. Also, I do pick up on past, present, and future energy. So at any time, this could be your message. So I wouldn't totally throw away a message, okay? Because it may not have happened yet. Um, it could happen. And I feel like my team is going to give me a message for you that you can take away that will help you if this is to come. And the reason why I say that is because as I'm speaking, I do got the storm warning card here. Okay. So the third chakra card comes out. The contract card comes up in the storm warning. All right. So even if you were going through the storm and it's clearing its way out and it's getting ready to leave here, um, it is about cycles closing out, okay? So I feel like the storm is coming through right now to clear the energy or the path. And again, like I said, you're going through it now or it's brewing or this shit is on its way out the door. All right, so I don't know where it falls at for you, but keep your vibes high because I do see with this third chakra card that speaks about your life force energy, all right? So your vibrations, keep your vibes high. It's something here, it could be a legal matter that you're going through or it could be a contract that you have with someone or this could be about some type of partnership, relationship, some type of connection here where you have some things connected with each other that could be legally binding shit, marriage, children, things like that, okay? So tell me about this. Ooh. Tell me what's going on here. Tell me about the third chakra card. Take some cards away. Thank you. Two of Wands in a reverse position. So what I feel like is somebody is doing some stuff. Maybe doing some stuff through deception here. And you may have had plans. Okay. And whatever happened. Yeah. They didn't do something right. And you couldn't you couldn't really fix this situation. Let's just put it this, this way. You know it created some type of obstacle here for you. Okay. Um, I definitely feel like. You're trying to channel your energy in the right direction when it comes to this so that you can resolve this. But of course, you know, when people do things underhanded, I feel like you do want to kind of blow the fuck up, though, for real. I ain't even going to lie. I feel that energy of like, yeah, I do want to wild this person out. Tell me about the contract card. But I do feel like you are trying to channel your energy in the right direction, okay? So if this ain't you again, this is somebody you connected to. It could be some shit that's going on in there like, I don't know, all right? <laughs> But you do. Okay. Tell me about the contract card. Mm -hmm. Ace of Wands in a reverse position comes out. And again, like you're going through something with this person. It's some type of turbulence. <laughs> Most definitely here. Three of Swords in a reverse position here. So um, I do feel like, you know, it's a lot. You could be disappointed. Highly disappointed in this person. Release that. Okay. First, release that feeling. I mean, they may deserve it, but you don't want to hold on to any unforgiveness or resentment, okay, or regret, because it's going to stop you from moving forward. Here with the judgment card in the reverse, you get me? So, take some time, alright? 
and just really self reflect about this situation here before you kind of go in extra let's just put it that way I, I like I said I feel like it's a situation that may be you know deserving of that but however what you're trying to reach overall is going to lead to your legacy and I feel like this is just an obstacle here to kind of like try to stop you from getting it you know how you got certain situations or people that may be set there and it's not like one of these things that's purposely this like energetically sometimes some things are set in our way to keep us from moving forward especially when we are called to do something great in our life and I feel like this is just one of those things it's like opposition and it's like, okay, whatever's happening, the plan is to keep your vibes low so that you won't get to the Ten of Pentacles. Okay? And that's everything that you hope for. I see that you want to be able to reach a point in your life where you have completed some things and you feel good about the stuff that you're accomplishing. And you're making the money and you have that financial security and you have your family and things like that. I feel like that's what it is that you are inspiring. But it's like when it comes to this situation or this person, it makes you question a lot of it because of how they act, okay, is what I'm hearing. Now, tell me about the storm warning. Nine of Swords in a reverse. Don't worry. All right. Don't allow your fears to impede your fullest potential to move forward. Because even though this is coming through or is happening here, it's going to cause some anxiety. But you got what it takes. Basically, King of Swords energy comes out. Whether you're masculine or you are female acting in this masculine role. I don't know. You got what it takes. Okay, so just stay clear in your thinking about this. You can solve this problem here using your ethics and being honest. Okay, I feel a sense that somebody want to be petty. Okay, release the pettiness. I can feel it. All right. Um, that's gonna. That's not gonna solve anything. It just makes the situation worse, and then everybody just keeps going back and forth at each other with this petty shit, and this cycle just keeps repeating itself over and over and over again. Okay, so be the king of swords in this situation here. That's air sign energy that I'm pulling through. But be the king of swords in this situation right now. Control your emotions. Raise your standards for a minute. Make a decision, okay? Don't sit here stuck at no crossroads with this two of swords energy trying to figure out what you should do. Listen to your intuition, okay? And trust what you know to be true about this person, about this situation, and what you should do. Because you have the answers inside of you. You've already experienced these things with this person before. Yep, the tower card comes out. This ain't new. Is what I just heard, okay? So now... It's time for you to operate here. First of all, yeah, stay in your integrity. That's what I'm hearing. It's a queen of wands in the reverse. So whoever this person is that you're connected to could be a fire sign that in the reverse energy. So which means they operate out of their lower selves. Okay. Whoever this person is that's connected to you or connected to your peoples here. They could be very jealous. All right. Very revengeful. And I feel like that's just what this person is doing. It's like they're trying to create these yeah towers because they're disappointed. Five of cups in a reverse position. Okay. They have a lot of inner conflict. So they want to create outer conflict. All right, it's almost like they're punishing you, is what I'm feeling because they want you to be fearful. Four um, of swords comes out in the upright, okay? They want you to be fearful. Take a moment to pause and regroup. Basically, this is a period of introspection right now. All you got to do because I feel like you know you are already going through a transformation here in your life and you want better. For yourself, release the fear and stay focused on a bigger picture, which is your Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so what is this Queen of Wands um, motive? What is this Queen of Wands reverse motives? So the Magician comes out. So what they're trying to do is cultivate drama. Okay. The Seven of Swords comes out. Next to the Hermit in the reverse. So, yes, they are trying to create some type of confusion. They're doing some stuff here that you can't see. Some of them could be doing some damn spell work and the shit just not working. Why? Because I'm picking up a sense if you are um, this masculine energy, you have awakened. Okay? You awaken to the BS right now. And this person is truly trying to manifest something here. Okay? But if, even if they're not using spell work, they're trying to manifest something here through deception. Okay, so what is that? 
They ain't taking no personal time to reflect on their own selves here. They're trying to manifest this page of wands comes out and the two of wands in the reverse. So it's like they're trying to get some type of communication. It's like one of these things here where people do shit just to, just to get attention. So it's like attention seeking is what I'm picking up. That's what I'm seeing. Why? Because, yeah, they're doing this stuff through deception. They're doing things underhanded here. This is just a, a way of them doing it to try to obtain what they want. And so they're using this method because this is something I'm hearing may have worked before. Don't let it lower your vibes, okay? Tell me about this page of wands. Tell me about the seven of swords energy first. Mm-hmm. The, look, the sun card and the king of cups. So if you are this masculine energy of my, of my collective or if your person is this masculine energy, this is just what they are doing. They're trying to create some type of new beginning here. But because they operate from their lower selves, actually creating a positive outcome with you or this person, the only way that they know how to do it is through deception. It's like, okay, this is the way I can do this and I can get this person's attention. You know what I'm saying? Being manipulative, okay? Being sneaky. Lying. Because what I feel like here, and that's what I'm saying, this this masculine energy is now balancing their, their, um, their, their emotions. They're totally balanced. So it's like one of these things where before, I feel like this masculine energy could have been anxious, overwhelmed, all of that stuff. But now, mm -mm, they're real diplomatic, they're calm. Okay, so it's like it's not working where before these things could have boom, made somebody tick. Made this masculine energy flip out at one time. Okay, but now I feel like, you know, somebody is definitely using their intuition here and their logic when it comes to this. So, tell me about the storm warning. Yeah, look at that. Ten of Pentacles comes out upright. All of this... It's happening to clear the path so that you or this person you're connected to can get to their legacy straight like that. These situations had to be presented or presented in this way, what I'm hearing, so that whoever's playing this masculine role could see the truth. Mm -hmm. Four swords comes out upright, the temperance and the reverse and the queen of swords in the reverse it had to happen so that this masculine energy could see the truth about this person basically and i feel like this may have happened during a process of someone taking a break or pausing for a second you know how you just take a break from everything and you just kind of disconnect yourself from the world from people and it, usually it happens when your life is just going into some type of upheaval and it's just too much going on and i feel like here with this masculine energy that's what has been what they've been doing they've just been taking a minute and just pausing and just really trying to regroup here and because it's just too much of an imbalance going on with this person here with the queen of swords but in the reverse that situation is definitely a toxic situation but in that in that moment of pause also what occurred was a was an awakening okay an awakening and so now someone okay is now beginning to see what's most important and the what's most important is the legacy the ten of pentacles not the chaos right the bs that this queen of wands reverse is kicking out all right so let me see something here What else can you tell us about this Queen of Wands reverse? Denial. So this person is in denial. Look. And they're trying to go against fate. The fate card came out in the reverse. They're trying to literally, let me put this on vibrate. Somebody is Instagram messaging me. They trying to um Literally go against fate, the inevitable. They're in denial about this. Wow. Let me read something here through this book real quick. 
So what it's saying here, this person is living in denial. Wow. They're stopping themselves from experiencing life simply because they are trying to avoid and it's still happening. It's like these bad outcomes. It's like it's not it's not shifting. It's like they're still stuck in this constant state of drought. Over and over again is what I'm hearing. And they're in so much denial about this here that they're acting in these behaviors that are basically miserable behaviors. Instead of making peace here and really just expressing some things from a different vibration here, they're not doing that. Okay. Um, it's excessive. It's excessive. Fortune, Fortuna. Fortuna says, and I'm going to pull tarot on those two. Fortuna basically is again, like I said, this person is trying to go against fate. They're trying to change their fate with this person. And here it says, don't fight what you can't change. <laughs> and this is what they're doing. They're trying to fight something that they really have no control over. Because what's happening is faded. It's like, what's happening with this person and this connection is not supposed to be. Alright, so let me pull terrible on there. There's nothing else that I want to talk about from there. Tell me about the denial. Mm -hmm. Four of Swords comes out, Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. This Queen of Wands in reverse is so anxious and fearful about them actually being able to manifest their wish fulfillment. It's like a burden on them. So it's like they're so, they get, how can I put it? They get so caught up in, in doing things the wrong way in their own vanity, okay? Because they really, really, really want to manifest this. They re it's like when I tell you this is a part of their wish fulfillment this is something they may have been praying and hoping for and they're in denial because it's not happening and it's causing them to be like extremely burdened by the situation because of the need the want it's like of having it being done their way is what I'm hearing it's like they want it done their way and it's not happening because for it is like no this isn't faded for you page of pentacles in the reverse so yeah now they're feeling like they're not succeeding. The lovers in the reverse. Because this, you or your person here definitely are what? They, they're they not feeling it whatsoever. It's like now again the awakening has happened. And all I keep hearing is the great awakening has already happened. This person's time is up. This queen of wands reverse time is up. Okay. And this queen of wands reverse is still constantly trying to punish this masculine's energy because they're not reaching their goal whatever it is that they're trying to do they're not reaching it so now they feel like they're gonna have to punish this masculine so they won't reach theirs what's what is i keep seeing the emperor i still see the, the masculine energy of my collective coming out emperor energy coming through for um four wands in a reverse position coming through structured discipline tapping that <laughs> Tapping there, um, what's this thing called? I don't know, the thing that they hold. <laughs> the stick, boom, boom. I'm coming through as a ruler to end this conflict. Because that's just what it is. This masculine energy no longer wants to give to that situation here because they are now awakened to it. it, it it's like, I feel like here that you or your person has definitely been trying to create something harmonious between them two. But it's just not, it's just not working, okay? It's been creating a barrier here to them being able to progress here. Or it's creating a barrier for you to be able to progress here in your life, period. Yeah, it messes with your confidence. And it messes with your decision making or your person. Okay, so stay confident here is what I'm hearing also. Because justice is here. Saturn retrograde is coming through. So don't worry. That's what I'm hearing. Saturn retrograde is coming through to balance whatever it is that's going on here in your situation to bring a greater equilibrium back in. Okay. So that's fate. All right. That's that's fate. That's the <laughs> karma right there. So if it's not fair and it's not just, boom, the storm is coming. 
to clear the path. Okay? So, you don't worry. It may feel like it's a little rocky at for a moment, but it's not coming really to affect you. It's coming to clear the path so that you can continue to move forward. So that means that this person that is opposing you or your person here, I don't know. I don't want to say that because that's negative, but if they don't get right, it's a possibility that they can get wiped out. Okay, so what I'm hearing here, if this is you, and it's happening to you. Set a healthy boundary for yourself. Anything else? That's it. So let me get some advice and then I will close out. And jump into another personal reading. <laughs> I'm coming y'all. I'm knocking it down. Show me what I need to see for do some energy work okay because again it's messing with your vibration so basically take some time out if you can and just breathe just woo side just get still if you need and just meditate even if it's for five minutes you know stretch your body out if you're feeling pain in your shoulder just make sure you get your stretches in get outside in the park listen to some guided meditation do yoga you can also do um Break heat, acupuncture, set some intentions, and pray. Okay? Your body is a remarkable energy field, and it's feeling all of it. And this situation is literally affecting your energy. Okay? So, your body is going to respond to loving treatment. So, just love on yourself. Alright? Your hands and your heart are activated to give healing energy to you, your loved ones, your clients, everybody. It's like you are actually a natural healer. So even if you don't want to go to Reiki or anything, you know how back in the day our parents used to take and lay hands on you and stuff like that. Put some oil on your hands is what I just heard. Set your intentions and pray over it and begin to just touch and massage those areas where you're feeling the stress and attention here. You know, take your shoes off. Go outside, walk in the grass, that's the best. That always helps to ground me. And just ground yourself and just touch those areas of your body that are beginning to feel the pain. If you're feeling queasy in your stomach or something like that, if things are going on in your stomach area um, from the stress and everything, begin to do something here that will help you. I'm hearing ginger. If you like ginger, put some ginger in your tea. Drink some warm tea, and that's going to help. Also, ACV is also what I'm hearing. My favorite is um, ACV. It's alcohol, um, apple cider for vinegar, y'all. I usually put it in a, um, a tea mixture or some hot water with lemon, some honey, and the ACV. Also, and I put ginger in it, or I will chew the ginger raw. So I take a little small piece Put it in my mouth. Don't bite down into it exactly because that joint is going to be so potent. And <laughs> you're going to be like, oh my God. So just kind of just let it ease out, okay? And that effect will definitely help to relieve whatever is going on and upset in your stomach, okay? So whew, do the energy work. Breathe. Yes, the storm is clearing. It's passing over. Don't even look at it. Change your perspective about this situation. And, and the way you get through this process and how you handle it is going to determine how long you stay in it. Okay, so you hear what I'm saying. You got this. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace.